Hello, this is a quick tutorial on how to establish the connection between your computer and GP Overlay. Um, and if you're on this step, you should be somewhere here. Connection error. Credentials are incorrect. This is the tutorial I'm talking about. So you want to go into app settings and the two things you need to establish this connection are your Parsec session ID and your Parsec peer ID. Now, you're going to have to navigate over to your computer. So we're on the computer now and you want to go to parsec.app, right? And this is the, the, the software you have to download. And once you have this onto your computer, you can continue on with what I'm saying. You're also going to want to make an account. So I'm going to go ahead and log in and I am logged in. Next, to get the Parsec session ID, you right click and click on inspect. This gives you a bunch of intimate details about the page itself, including all the stored variables. So we're going to want some of those. Go into storage and at the very bottom you should see something called Parsec login. And it has token and it has this very long 64 characters of string that we're going to want to obtain this right here this is what we want so this value is actually very sensitive if someone has this value and also your parsec peer ID they can connect to your computer whenever they want and have complete control over it and that is a serious security thing so make sure you have these um, don't just share it with anyone the reason I'm showing mine is because I know how to change mine so don't get any ideas so the easiest way to move this 64 string over to your parsec session ID on the app is to email it to yourself so I'm gonna go ahead and compose an email to go ahead and do that all right so the email isn't sent quite yet but it's in the email the next thing we're gonna want to do is we're gonna go down into parsec or we can just open the app parsec like that either way now we're in parsec and you're going to want to it's going to look like this you're going to want to share once you're logged in and everything click on share and then copy the link to your clipboard so we can go back into the this url uh, type it in we're not going to do anything with this but we do want this value right here this value right here corresponds to your Parsec Pure ID. So we're gonna also copy and paste this into the email that we're gonna move over to our phone so we can copy it onto our phone. So I'm gonna go ahead and compose that email and send it over and I'm gonna show you the results. So I went ahead and typed in these values and there they are right there using the email trick. And remember these values are sensitive, don't let it anybody see these values because if they type it in they can connect to your computer and to change these values you can invalidate the link the parsec peer id link and also you want to either reset your password or log out of all devices and this will reset your parsec session id but now that we have that we can go into native play and voila you're connected and I'm moving the mouse right now, but you can't see the mouse. This is a little problem. And the quick fix, the only fix, is to go into mouse settings. And then additional mouse settings. And you're gonna wanna click on pointer options, display pointer trails, okay. And apply, apply, and okay. So now, I can see the mouse on GP overlay and I'm gonna click on undermine because this game is nice and simple and displays the stuff you can do so there we are and I'm untethered from my computer anything that I want uh, I can go ahead and see it we're gonna click play Probably needed to put enter.
we're in. And I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And I'm just gonna show you me playing this. Completely untethered from my computer. All I need is internet, and this game is mine. So, as you can see, I'm playing. I didn't set up all the controls, but, you know, this just displays what I'm talking about. So this is me playing. Okay. I could have made it a bit bigger. Anyway. Let's see how I do. Let's see how I do without all the controls. I'm getting distracted, okay. But as you can see, it works. The lag isn't even that bad. And um, yeah, that's the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed.